Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. I do have some slots still open for the rest of this week, so definitely check that out. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so the, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Hope you guys are doing well. Hi, everybody in the chat. All right, Virgo, let's see what your messages are. Oh, okay. Hmm, we had two popping out here. Let's see. Okay, they're just saying to start with these. Okay, somebody is sad, grieving. Uh, Nine of Pentacles energy. This could be regret, remorse about making a decision, about being single, being sad about being single or being solo or being on their own. Virgo, this could be you. This is a Virgo card. This could be uh, somebody that you are uh, thinking of with this reading, okay? There's a sense of loss here and remorse. Somebody could be feeling grief. Look at how good, for some of you, this is definitely your energy. Look how good you look. You're doing well, Virgo. You're doing well, but maybe your heart's broken or you feel sad. Missing someone, feeling lost, perhaps, for some, or this is somebody else. Let me see what's going on here. What else does Spirit want us to know? Virgo, what do you need to know here? Okay. Oh. Some of you have to move forward, come out of your comfort zone and move on. Some of you are, listen, okay, this is going two separate ways, okay? I don't know who it is. I'm going to tell you right now. It could be you. It could be another person. It could be both. There is a, a, a need here to face the fears because there's hope still left in something here. I don't. I'm not sure what this means, but that's what they're telling me. Or someone is still hopeful about you, is missing you. That somebody believes that there can be healing in a relationship or something can be healed or fixed or solved or a problem can be overcome. Okay, let's take a look. I want to see what's going on here. Virgo, what are your messages? Okay, so we have justice in the past. Okay, the Eight of Swords, the Empress, Four of Wands, Two of Wands, the Ace of Cups, Virgo. Oh my gosh, Temperance, Five of Pentacles. Wow, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, this whole reading is all about love, family, support, Marriage, Ten of Cups. All right, Virgo, listen, I'm going to give it to you. Somebody wants a reunion. Somebody's coming back here, okay? Leave a legacy with you. Leave their mark, okay? Build something with you. There's def this energy. This is reunion. Someone's thinking about the past. They're being nostalgic, wanting a reunion, wanting to connect with you, spend time with you. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. Could be another Virgo. There could be a Libra, a Taurus, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what the love messages are. I feel like somebody's really missing you right now, Virgo. And you know what? I feel like you are missing someone too. Thinking perhaps maybe this can be salvaged. Maybe something can be fixed here. You know, this is just a reading for tonight. Some of you might be having second thoughts. <clears throat> now, could they be fleeting? They could be. Tomorrow you might feel completely different. But there's um, there's just a, a sense of melancholy or a sense of feeling uh, like hopeful and hopeless at the same time. All right, love messages. Okay, new love, new person is stirring your romantic feelings. 
Wow, Virgo. Children. Okay, we've got children over here, too. There is nostalgia here. Okay, and freeing yourself. Wow. We've got a couple of messages happening here for you, Virgo. Um, let's take a look. Justice is here in the past. Some truth. Some truth in the past. Something fair, balanced, but truthful. Let's see what this is about. Okay. Something came out. Went public. Somebody opened up, exposed some truths. You probably at some point said something to somebody or you exposed some truth or you opened yourself up to someone in the past expressing that you want to try you wanted to try to make something right with someone. That's Leo energy as well. Pretty persistent about that. You were persistent about something with someone in the past, Virgo. And you were trying to do the right thing or you were trying to get someone else to do the right thing or trying to make something work. Two people working on something, setting boundaries, but being open about what you wanted, being fair, but being honest and truthful in the past, okay? What I feel like is happening here currently, there's an energy of um, mental restrictions and some blocks. You're having a hard time, Virgo, getting yourself into a new state of mind or, you know, I feel like getting yourself up to the empress energy okay you have the nine of pentacles so you're you're definitely on your way but you're having a hard time maybe accepting how much you're worth accepting your own worth your self value okay uh, believing in yourself that eight of swords energy just kind of feels like feeling kind of trapped mentally by negative thinking you're going through something here virgo i see it look here's the empress again that's what's going on to clarify that you're having a hard time there might have been an issue with a mother maybe mom implanted some negative seeds into your head growing up or something or made you feel like you weren't worth something or worth someone i feel like you're on you're you know you're you're on your way you're on your way definitely to becoming the best version of yourself that you've ever been okay but you're definitely struggling in a lot of ways and i feel like you're coming out of maybe you came out of some relationship in the past or something didn't go there's grief about that and you're transitioning okay but listen virgo before i even go any further into that cuz i feel like with you you've got somebody you're both in a similar situation. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Somebody here is like emotionally grieving or feeling emotionally re remorseful or sour, sorrowful or sad. Um, and that might be you. It could be your other person. But your person is definitely feeling lost, struggling, troubled. They feel broken right now. Okay. I want to pull another clarifying card. Okay. The, your, this person, whoever they are, they feel like they missed their opportunity with you. They really do. They don't, they feel like maybe the opportunity came. They're hoping another opportunity comes with you. Um, but they, they're feeling like maybe they missed it. And they're hope they missed some kind of opportunity with you in the past. Yeah. Ten of, ten of swords here this person is like on their way down to rock bottom the, I, I, it feels like an energy of kicking themselves but you know what Virgo you're maybe some of you might be kicking yourselves as well now listen does that mean that you made a bad decision if you decided to end something with someone or you put your all not necessarily but there's some something here that you're going through right now this process if you've ended a relationship or either you're taking another look at the situation again or you're trying to sort out where you're standing or you're climbing some kind of ladder you're trying to be in a better position in your life i feel like virgo yeah here's the moon you're questioning am i deceiving myself was i deceived am i lying to myself 
did this person lie to me? Did they truly love me? You're struggling a little bit here. Piscean energy there. Am I living in a fantasy world? Now we have temperance again. All these major arcana, trying to balance your temper, trying to figure stuff out. Here's a hierophant, right? With the four of wands. I feel like somebody wants to go home or there's an energy of wanting to like, like, I don't know, some of you are getting real spiritual or maybe going back to church, trying to seek answers, spiritual answers. What's driving you is you want, Virgo, some of you, you really wanted something with somebody, okay? A family, uh, some type of celebration, 11-11, you felt like this was your twin flame. Now you're not so sure. You're confused. You don't know what's going on. You feel lost. You're at a crossroads here in your head with the two of wands. You have like this decision. You're standing here at a crossroads. You're like, do I go left? Do I go right? What do I do? I don't know. I have a decision I have to make about this, this partnership or partnerships in general in my life. Right? Let's take a look at the four of wands. Okay, yeah. Trying to get real truthful. You know what you want though, Virgo. You know that you want some type of... um like a marriage or a committed relationship or some celebration reunion you some of you really want a reunion with this person if things will go well and some of you deep in the recesses of your heart are hoping for that you're hoping for a miracle you're hoping for grace you're hoping for something to change somehow some way if it's not with them for like spirit to just intervene in some way and heal just heal everything just heal everything okay so you're transitioning you definitely i felt like that energy was there yesterday or the day before look higher fonts there yeah you're trying to make a decision about commitment about marriage about being in this position here like which path do i want that or who do I want it with? Some of you might have someone on your mind from the past and someone new could be showing up here because you do have new love. It could be somebody that you're talking to right now, but you're grieving somebody else. Or somebody new could be coming in while you're grieving somebody else. And then you're faced with this, you know, trying to balance things out here with temperance trying to have this new beginning with the empress here in your life and it's a challenge for you but you have the ace of cups coming so there is new love that's right here okay some of you are sorting out maybe the relationship you're in in the past was very immature or we both acted like children maybe you're taking you're going through some type of emotions here and definitely trying to free yourself in a lot of ways but I, I do feel like somebody here is very remorseful um, and still has hope that things can change and that there could be healing and there's something to do here, either with travel or distance, if it was like a long distance thing or coming out of the comfort zone in order to make things move forward, getting out of a chaotic situation. Sixes are always about reconciliation. So there, there, there could be somebody here. They're hoping if there's another opportunity. Okay, we have the King of Swords. So for some, it's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, and that could fall in. Not doesn't have to be their sun. It could be in any placement. But I feel like this person is really getting truthful with themselves about the fact that four of wands here again that they missed some kind of an opportunity here with you that they truly want you're wondering if this is your twin flame this person might be wondering the same thing you both have the 11 11 this is the twin flame and this is a struggle this has been a struggle this ace of wands there's a blessing coming in here going into december the opportunity is going to come again for healing in your life for new love three of pentacles hmm. there's going to be another opportunity to try to repair and work again together to try to like on a different path i feel like 
honestly, Virgo, I don't feel like this is so much a new separate person. I feel like your person is coming in in a new way. Your, your, whoever you have on your heart at this time, okay? Whoever you have on your heart at this time, I feel like the opportunity for love and marriage, commitment, all of that is coming to you. Or in other words, it's going to be presented energetically to you during this time period. From this time into December is how I feel. Yeah, there is going to be communication. Good news. I feel like somebody's this. This is good news for you, right? You don't have to accept it, Virgo. Just know that. Some of you might already be talking to others, and maybe you're trying to start something else with someone new. Some of you might just appreciate hearing this, and for some, it just could be that you don't want to work on something anymore, and that's fine. You know, you know, you, I'm giving the message that is coming in. If you tell me you don't want that, you don't have to tell me that. I'm only transmuting messages here. And if you're if you're trying to tell me that this is not going to happen, it is going to happen. How it turns out is up to you. You have the free will. You certainly can say no if you want that. I'm not seeing. I feel like you. I feel like there's some of you do want this. Some of you do want this healing. You do want a new beginning, a new start. But you're struggling in your own ways too because of maybe some things that I don't know if you if you came into something with. Um, they're just saying the word shredded, shredded thinking. I don't know what that means. They just said shredded thinking. If you came into a relationship this way or the person you were with caused this, you know, shredded thinking, all. It feels like destruction, a sense of destruction, right? But I, I feel like they, I feel like this person, whoever they are, this, this, maybe it's a past person. There's some type of connection, the two of you. I don't know if you both are the same age. Maybe you knew each other when you were children um, or when you were younger or the playfulness between you, okay? Um, it's like there's, a, there's some kind of understanding. It could be similar age or similar, like there's some similarity between the two of you. And I feel like this person, they're coming in with like a new love offer. They want to try again with you, Virgo. They're freeing themselves from whatever. They could be freeing themselves from their children to connect with you. You could be freeing yourself from your children to connect with them. I don't mean abandoning your children. I just mean taking some time out. There could be travel, connecting with this person around this time, um, getting sitters or, you know, leaving, taking some time away from your own children to connect with this person, vice versa. Um, this person is even freeing themselves from new, there might be a new person in their life currently that they're trying to free themselves or detach themselves from. That person could have children, okay? I feel like this could simply, for some of you, just be closure, okay? It could be closure. If they're coming back in and saying what you need to hear from them, you could be the one giving the closure. They could be coming in with closure, but it doesn't really feel that way. It feels more so that this you and this person want the same thing. You both want, there's a match here. You both want to be together. Something, seems like something got messed up. Maybe you were far away from each other. Maybe there were fears. Maybe somebody wasn't ready to commit. So your advice here, wow, everything in moderation, Virgo, you have temperance. Everything in moderation. Oh, this two of wands here. Look, this decision, take your time. Trust the process. Trust divine timing here. You'll get the answers. Ask for faith. Okay? This thing, here you are thinking about, do I want this person? Do I want this? Do I need this? Is this what I want for my life? This is a big, heavy decision weighing on your heart. 
And with that decision, you're being asked here to take your time sort this out first especially with a return you two i feel like there's going to be a connecting here in december and you two connecting at this time period there's going to be some i miss you i love you can we try again it just feels like timing this person it feels like you both want to try but yeah there's you have some things you got to sort out for yourself first some things you need to know before you move forward with anybody some of this has to do for both of you getting up the courage to try this again leo energy strength here get getting up the confidence also it just feels like you both truly feel lost without each other not just you feeling that for them they're feeling the same way what do you fear conflict drama the same old same old okay you're definitely in the position of fear and that here <clears throat> you fear not being in alignment with this person you fear this person is you know there's part of you that hopes they come in with this passionate lusty because there's that physical intimacy that you definitely desire with this person but the other part of you is hoping that it don't come in with that and stir up drama and then just you know come in and use you for sex or something like that all right so you're definitely struggling with this situation now the outcome so you have the seven of pentacles and you have the two of pentacles let me see here okay good the star beautiful there's hope here for this connection. I feel like two people are gonna get back on track and actually get it right this time. There's healing with the star. There's contemplation. There's basically, what do we do to heal this? How do we do this, okay? What do we invest? What we have, it almost feels like both of you, it's like you have one pentacle left to invest it's like one last shot one last shot and i feel there will be communication talking about that that's what i was saying we'll give it our one last shot and work together balance things out here okay look at this this is the infinity symbol i mean this thing is coming back around again with you and another person yeah the wheel of fortune here you go this is a lucky break <laughs> a lucky break this is something i know some of you are like i'm not trying to have this with this person well this you know what you guys you know how my readings go sometimes it's all about trying to have it with someone you know if you want to work something out i feel like this person does too and try to get it right but it doesn't it's it's not like how are you going to get it right okay here's the thing we have the three of pentacles this is a card of education school this is a card of learning you're being both of you having the opportunity to learn it differently this time the way you guys were together was unhealthy because this, the skills, the interaction was not healthy. There's a lack of appreciation from both sides. There was a lack of understanding, compassion, um, real in-depth spiritual stuff. That's really what I feel is the pivotal point that's going to bring healing into this relationship is learning how to be in a healthy relationship not taking the relationship and two people molding it to their own idea of what's healthy actual healthy relationship what that entails okay compassion acceptance appreciation understanding respect all of that okay i don't see toxicity here I, I mean the devil hasn't popped out usually that's a pretty toxic card for me i'm not seeing that i see struggle though that there was some struggle there was a difficulty getting on the same page both of you getting on the same page one was on the other was off the other was off 
on the other was off it was like a circle just you know in and out in and out up and down um maybe some ghosting was happening that kind of energy here yeah but i definitely feel there's fire here between the two of you like i don't feel like this is a spark that's left over i mean this is a flame and i have two flames here and that's your twin flame right there this is a twin flame connection and this is a difficult connection but you both are i feel here it's written in the stars you have a star they have a star that you are both meant for each other and you both want to be each other but you just don't know how and this person maybe you knew maybe you figured it out virgo this person they don't quite know how are they figuring it out i don't know are they willing to i feel like yes okay i feel like yes they're willing to figure this out ghosting there might have been that look at the ghost Okay. There might have been trouble making a decision about committing. There might have been um, too many options or not knowing what to do. Someone here, I feel, really maybe just didn't know how to be in a relationship properly, healthy, a healthy one. They may not have had um, the opportunity to view that in their life. Or maybe you didn't, Virgo. Or maybe both of you didn't. Or maybe both of you did, but something happened along the way in your lives. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the Hidden Truth Oracle messages are. Virgo's Hidden Truth Oracle messages. This person's messages to you. I wish things could be different, Virgo we will be together again that's what i feel like this if you're in separation this is a twin flame in separation i feel like you two like they're definitely going to get communication from someone um a lot of love cupid's arrows a lot of love messages somebody getting up the courage is going to be that communication going back and forth um about expression of missing loving apologies i want to be more than friends it was my fault. I think I blamed you. I know that I crossed the line with you. I wonder if you are happy without me. I don't feel like you are Virgo and I don't feel like this person is. My life is not as together as it seems. So somebody might have put on a false mask or pretended to be something that they weren't, but they feel you leaving them behind and they want to feel happy again with you. They want that those feelings in the beginning, the joy and the and the things that made you fall for each other. Virgo, I have to tell you something. Look, you came closer than anyone, Virgo. No one has gotten as close to this person than you have. They never would have allowed that. But something about you, Virgo, what I have to tell you here, they're telling me. You think that you fell for this person before they fell for you. Wrong. They fell for you first, but they hid it. They were scared. They may not have even ever told you that they were in love with you. They might have told you they loved you, but maybe not that they were in love with you. Or maybe they said they cared or something vague. I wish I could share my good news with you. Right now they feel that way, but they're going to. They're going to come in and tell you they truly do love you, Virgo. Okay. And I know a lot of you are like, I guess they didn't love me. No, they did. They just didn't really give you the impression. They kind of, I feel for some of you, maybe you said I love you first. And then they said it later. They may have told you that they loved you, but it didn't feel for some of you like, I don't know if it's genuine or what it was, but it, it feels to me, I just, I don't know what happened, but I'm just picking up this very strong vibration feeling and this message that's coming through that this person fell for you long before you them. Let's see, what are the messages of love here? 
intuition you already know the answer you seek retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge interference an ex external party may have intruded on this relationship person place or thing children again see this is this is three times with children there might be three children um or this is nostalgia and this is also being stuck in memories, past memories, or wishing to return to the past. Or someone from your past is returning. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person, Virgo, and you should express yourself if there's a lack of closure. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. There's a lot of childhood trauma or childhood issues that need to be addressed. Time apart. Distance helps bring clarity, and I feel like that's what's been going on here. But patience, Virgo, everything's going to unfold in divine timing. You don't have to force things. Just leave things be and let spirit do the work, okay? If this was a friendship, this feels to me like um, it's leading to more. I feel like there's... There's, there's two friendship cards here, so that might be a very important message for some of you. It, do, it feels like this relationship's going to get a second chance or however many chances it was. Um, I'm feeling, I have to tell you, Virgo, I'm, I'm not trying to like push things on you here, but the strongest message that I'm getting from this relationship here is that this is a connection that's meant to be. And I, listen, I definitely believe that if you're in an abusive partnership, if you feel like you're being abused, then it's really healthy for you to remove yourself from that situation and get healing and clarity and, and you know, going through that whole process of doing that. I know a lot of you are like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Healing is hard. And a lot of people do not want to deal with their, their healing or repair the things that broke their heart. A lot of people just want to get into another relationship and just start over because it's always easier than, you know, your toaster breaks. We don't fix our toasters. We just go get new ones. <laughs> not that your person's a toaster, but it's very difficult to heal the self. Very. And kudos and I commend those of you who really go in 100% and do the work. Uh, trust me, even the brightest, highest IQ, those who even people who have degrees in psychiatry struggle with that. You know, it's not easy. But I can tell you that when you go through that process, th there's an end to the healing. You will repair and learn a great deal. A blessed union between two people when two people heal is the most beautiful thing when they come back in alignment with each other so your question is what do you want would you rather just say no forget it i'm moving on or would you rather really go in and do the work and get the healing and allow this person and pray for miracles because i feel like for those of you who've been on that path this is coming forward for you Twin flame. This is a twin flame. <laughs> we also have soulmate. Some of you might just say, nope, it's my twin flame. We're just going to keep it as friends and just be soulmates, and I'm going to leave it at that. Okay? Um, I feel like it's soulmate for some of you right now because you're in separation, because you're not wanting to have the struggle or deal with the what the hell just happened tornado effect. <laughs> and for others, this is coming back into union. I do feel that way. What you do with it, Virgo, like I said, I'm just mess I'm just giving the messages here. Let's take a look and see. What are your Moon Pie Tarot messages here? Okay, direct honest female. You could be connecting with someone, or there could be someone um, this reading could be about. A female who's very blunt, forthright, truthful, honest. You know, you're coming through, that's you. Okay, Virgo. Male, you know, it's male or female, of course. It's just energy. 
But look, we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. You two have one very one very big thing in common is that you know either how to talk to each other or you know how to bullshit the hell out of each other. But you both are very good at being clear and concise from the head. But when it comes from the heart, that's the struggle. That's the opening up and being vulnerable, you know, because you're opening your heart out up there and you're you're basically saying to someone here my heart's open take a shot <sighs> scary thing to do that you both you both kind of have like a heady way of communicating it's a lot of it's a lot of headiness analyzing logic logistics strategizing and communication uh talking 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 and no not enough feeling Romantic relationships require affection and feeling and emotions. And either, I don't know, it was the chicken or the egg. I don't know if it's what came first or what happened, but, or both of you are so hurt that you just blocked your hearts and you just came from the head. Okay, the sweet text message get coming in. So for some of you, that is an apology. Somebody's going to try to... Like I said, it's like an apology or an I miss you or I love you or I'm sorry or, you know, it's sweet. So it leaves, it's nice. It's something that's like, it's not an angry message. It's not a blaming message. It's not throwing darts. It's like a sweet, it could be around the holidays. Um, you know, something really like a Hallmark card sweet message, that kind of thing coming in. Maybe you'll get a Christmas card or something, or a holiday card from somebody. Okay, yeah, this is an apology for the arguments that caused the separation for some of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> no contact, wow. Oh boy. It's also, where have you been? This is, some of you went no contact with this person. It caused a great deal of fear and anxiety. This person feels or felt like they lost you for good because you just blip, right, went right off the radar. If that's what you did, if you did that to hurt this person, then you're not a good person. But if you did, because that's vengeance and that's cruel. And if you did that on purpose, then you just, did you even love that person? If you went no contact for your own sanity, for to help yourself, to make yourself feel better, to get some clarity, then that's okay because you're doing it for you. But that caused a lot, no matter what, it caused a lot of fear and anxiety in this person. And I feel like whatever's going on with them, like if you, if you, were intentional with your no contact and you were doing it because you wanted to make them pay or you wanted to see what they would do. I mean, look, nobody's perfect, but if you were trying to cause harm and you went no contact and then you were out there willy nilly and with all kinds of other people and showing up and trying to be something that you're not, then you got to get some childhood or some healing going in there yourself in your heart if you were doing that because you can't be loving somebody and hurting them at the same time. They don't go hand in hand. Now, maybe they did that to you. And we're going to keep it real. Maybe somebody did that to you, Virgo. Maybe they went no contact and then they were willy-nilly with somebody else. And if you feel like that person did that on purpose to hurt you or to show up, then you definitely need to rethink stuff about yourself. If you want this person back, you need to get some healing. Um, if they didn't do that and tried to cause fear and anxiety, you might have felt a lot of fear or anxiety about why somebody went no contact with you or blew you off. And that hurts too, no matter what, whether it was intentional or not. There's still somebody here is sitting here with this lot of like, oh my gosh, is this officially over? Is this done? Okay. And I'm not trying to judge. Please don't, please don't take it like that you're a horrible person, that I think you're, nobody cares what I think, but if it, I don't want you to take it in a way, because we're human, human beings do things, 
and sometimes we're reactive and sometimes we say things or we do things and we don't mean to hurt other people but there are people out there that do mean to hurt others you know does it make them horrible awful people no it just means that they have not matured or they just haven't really understood what they were doing because it was out of the ego and and it was selfish behavior and it happens okay learning a new skill see that's what i'm seeing with the three of pentacles so i feel like you both are going to have the opportunity to relearn how to be healthier when coming back together and that should be a requirement as well you know not just for yourself but for this person as well okay in order to make something work message from an admirer see you are going to get communication from this person virgo I feel like some of this is going to come in from this person. They truly do admire you, Virgo. And they're going to come in and tell you, you know, I've been thinking about things and I've been like looking at how the way I treated you and the actions that I took were very immature and I didn't know what I was saying or what I was doing. Um, but I've been learning different ways of, of handling situations. Maybe I had anger, maybe I exploded or I, I said things I didn't mean to say. I'm learning how to control my anger. I'm learning how to constructively deal with situations i'm learning how to consider how you feel and um, to be respectful i've been learning all this stuff maybe i've been going to counseling or i've been trying to get some healing in myself you know i've been learning new ways to uh, to be a, a person that you need me to be that's what i feel like some of that that communication, you might get an email or a letter from this person where they say this to you. I just saw too, like a Christmas card with Santa and it's all written inside there. You know, some of you, that might even be you saying that to somebody. Okay, wealth, health, and abundance. So Virgo, overall, you know, you started with the nine of pentacles. That's wealth, health, and abundance. So overall, you know, everything's gonna be all right, Virgo. Okay, even if this is just closure for you or somebody coming in, there is messages coming in, you know, um, the apology is coming first. So if you want that to be closure, then it's closure. But if, if, if you're open to retrying it again and trying to heal it and make it better, that's here too. So it's up to you. All right, let's get your dates. Let's see what's going on here. It's Virgo's dates coming up or birth dates or initials. Gosh, why can't I shuffle today? Okay. Um, okay. I feel like that came out yesterday. Huh? Uh, hold on. Um, oh, okay. Um, so they're saying something happened on November 2nd. I'm not sure if that's somebody's birthday or if that's like a significant day for somebody here. November 2nd, something happened. I'm gonna go into a deep amount of dates here. I just heard the name Fran, F-R-A-N, Fran or Francine or Francis, Fran. And Someone's uh, initial start with an M, an M. Someone's initial start with an E. I. A letter I, someone's name, a name or initial I. And uh, they just said L, L-O, L-L-O or L, 
low. Okay, March 14th. Somebody used to call somebody a chicken. Somebody called somebody a chicken or a chick. Hey, chicky or hey, chick or chicken. They just said. <laughs> we have October 23rd. And. We have July 10th, they're saying. Oh, okay. January 27th. May 12th. Okay, they're giving me a C. C A, a C A. C and an A. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, they're giving me the text, a texting, a U, um, the letter U. When someone says, how are you? Somebody would, would do H-R-U instead of spell the whole thing out. H-R-U. Okay, they just gave me that. H R U. Or are yous. How are yous? Like if you're talking, like addressing more than one person. How are yous? Like, I don't know, is Y O U Z or Y O U S C? How are how are yous? How are yous? How are yous? That's weird. <laughs> um, so somebody's birthday is September 4th. And then they're also saying, oh, also 1994. Okay. Okay. And September 12th. All right, you guys, um, let's get some charms here. Let's see where your charms are. I know we got like 12, I have 12 minutes left till I hit the top of the hour here, but um, I'm getting ready to go out to dinner. Um, by the time you're listening to this, I've already gone out to eat, but because um, I'm recording this right now, it's 7 p.m. here on the East Coast. Um, yes, as you guys know, I'm not actually live. I'm recording live and premiering live. Um, and sometimes I show up in the chat if I'm not doing something. Um, I was thinking about doing like actually going live with these readings, but that would be like 10.30 p.m. my time. And it's pretty late for me. I wouldn't get done till 11. And then I'm like pretty much drained <laughs> by that time. So, all right, let's see. Let me just get these cards out of the way. I hope everybody's doing well. Does this feel like a twin flame for you? Now just remember you guys, like I say all the time, and I said it in the beginning, um, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Some of the, they, some of, for some of you it may resonate and you're just like, I don't wanna hear this. And that's fine, you know? It's general, so I'm talking to what? How many people view with this video? 10 to 15,000. So it's got it's for somebody. Maybe it's for you. All right, let's see what the charms are. Okay, they're throwing. Oh, oh my goodness. We've got a reindeer. All right, there's something happening here around Christmas time. Maybe you're looking at Christmas decorations. Are you looking at Rudolph? Maybe somebody's name is Rudolph or Rudy. We've got a reindeer here. Absolutely. But this is like, um, this is beautiful. This is, this is just like a deer in the snow reindeer kind of thing. Okay, hold on. Now we've got a tool. This is like a drill of some sort or electric 
hammer or something. Okay, I don't know if you're working with one of them or I always like to say, or your person's a tool. We've got soulmate energy here, mating for life. Black kitty, somebody might have a black kitty. I'm also seeing, um, oh, they just gave me the, that's a strange thing. Um, Shogun, they're giving me the word Shogun. Shogun, S-H-O-G-U-N. I don't know what that means. Shogun, they just said. Maybe show them the gun. Show them, show them the gun again, or show gun. Okay. You have a black kitty right now, pussy cat. Looking at your black kitty cat. Hold on, you guys. I gotta give these a real shake up. Okay. Oh. All right. Are you putting makeup on right now? Do you have your makeup sponge, some of you? I know Derek or Alex probably is. Maybe B Max got putting on some makeup right now. <laughs> just a I'm just seeing a makeup sponge, like a sponge. We're getting a lot of flowers here. Okay. Does somebody like the colors black? And like this is like a puke color, so I don't know if you like that color. It's kind of a strange, dark, brownish yellow. It might be doing putting flower decals on your nails or something, or just getting that done. Look at this big, beautiful white star. Oh my gosh. Honey, you are my shining star. Or baby, you're a star. Or you must be my lucky star. There's definitely... Oh, okay. <gasps> Listen, if you're going to get a star for the top of your Christmas tree, yes, I'm talking about Christmas. You need to get this white star. This is a blessing. This is, you had two star cards in your reading. Manifest the healing in this relationship. Put that white star on top of your tree this Christmas. You're going to draw that, that healing star healing renewal and hope energy you a lot of flowers here i'm seeing a dresser um, with painted flowers some flowers or something with just like a bouquet of flowers uh, it could be like what's it called decoupage flowers or it could be um i don't know maybe tattoo of flowers some of you maybe you already have that there's like um they're in a bunch though, and they're like the colors are pretty fantastic. They're not like super bright greens or yellows or blues. They're muted colors, very earthy with a little pink. Very beautiful. Oh, and now we have a wiener dog. Dashund? Dashund dog. Maybe somebody, do you have a dog like that? Maybe somebody has a dog and a cat. The dog bothers the cat all the damn time. The dog will not leave the cat alone. Like the, the cat is getting annoyed, gets annoyed by the dog. That's what I just am seeing. The cat sits there and looks out the window and the dog comes up sniffing and, paw and just annoying. I just feel like that. Or somebody, like this wiener dog, I don't even know what to say. Like he's got some pretty long legs. Okay. Uh, Okay, they just said somebody that you connect with has a has a, a very long trunk. A very long trunk. Like here, the trunk is very long. Okay. I'm not taking these. But I will say this. There is an angel feather here. If you've seen a feather recently today or will see one in the next few hours or whenever, whenever you see it, whenever you listen to this, that's a message, a very strong message that you are being watched over at this time. You have your angels around you, you and this person. They have the other feather. Two feathers come together. Okay. You know, I just heard something really strange. They just said there was, there is like an angel who's, it's not a fallen angel. It's like a wing. It's like a, oh, okay. That's funny. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so now they're saying somebody, okay, this, you know, 
I sometimes I think I have jokester message guys or something. There's they're saying chicken wings, hot wings, chicken wings. I don't know what the heck that means. Chicken wings. Are you eating chicken wings or the one falls on the floor? That's what it is. They're saying they're watching you. Some of you dropped chicken wing that you're eating on the floor and you picked it up and you ate it. And they're they're watching you and they're they're like you're disgusting. You pig. Throw that in the garbage. Have some manners. <laughs> some of you are like five second rule. It's okay. No, there. It's it's not spiritual. It's like don't eat your garbage. Don't eat shit off the floor. Don't eat. Stop eating shit off the floor. This might be like for a guy. If any of you girls are doing this, we're gonna have to have a long talk, a little one hour session about that. This might be for like some guys who are like, oh, it's just. Just drop real quick. The floor is clean. There's not a problem. I don't know who's watching you or who's giving you this message, but if you dropped it and you're thinking about it or you're picking it up and you're like, I'm trying to decide, Spirit's saying, don't eat that. I don't know why. I don't know why. You do whatever you want. You don't have to listen to the guides that come in, but just something here about chicken wings or hot wings or buffalo wings. I don't know. Whatever it is. I'm going to leave your message there, though, because now I'm hungry and I got to go eat. So I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below. I have some slots still open. Um, you can get a 30-minute phone call uh, personal reading or you can get a one-hour phone call personal reading. Um, I will be here on, I think... I might, I might do it Friday night. I'm not sure. I have to see, look at my schedule, but I will be doing live stream paid readings either Friday or Saturday. When I, when I make the decision, I'll just put the upcoming live stream on my channel here and you'll see it there. So make sure you hit the notification bell, hit all. So you get all notifications and make sure you have it enabled in your phone if you do it on your phone. That way you'll know when I'm here, when I'm going live, yada, yada, yada. Okay, you guys? So I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care. I love you guys very much. Take care. Bye.